When people think about the changing of the guard, they're probably thinking about Buckingham Palace. But that's not the only place in London where there's a changing of the guard. About a half a mile from the palace at precisely 11 a.m. Monday through Saturday and 10 a.m. on Sunday, the horse guards of the Household Cavalry, members of the two oldest regiments of the British Army, the Life Guards, in their red tunics and white plumed helmets, and the Blues and Royals in their blue tunics and red plumed helmets, conduct a changing of the guard at the Horse Guard Parade. In the days of King Henry VIII, this parade ground was a tilt yard, the site of numerous tournaments and jousting. In our time, it's the site of military ceremonies, most notably each June for the annual Trooping of the Colors, the official celebration of the monarch's birthday. In 2012, it was the venue for beach volleyball in the London Olympics. The Horse Guards building is located on Whitehall, not far from Trafalgar Square. On one side is the old Admiralty building, on the other, Downing Street, home of the Prime Minister at number 10. The building is a registered Grade 1 historical building, built in 1751. It once stood in front of the old Whitehall Palace and was the gateway to St. James Park, which was then a royal hunting preserve. From 10 to 4 each day, mounted and dismounted sentries post at the front gate and the interior archway. Unlike Buckingham Palace, you can get right up next to the troopers and their mounts, which have been specifically selected for their temperament and trained to be calm around people. The horse guards were created by King Charles I in 1641, on the eve of the English Civil War. The king fled London, but was eventually tried for treason by the parliament. He was brought back to London, and on January 30, 1649, he was beheaded on a scaffold erected in front of the banqueting house, directly across from the horse guards' headquarters. The execution took place at 2 p.m. If you look at the clock over the barracks, you'll see that the number 2 has a black mark beside it, commemorating this grisly event. There are no military bands for the horse guards' changing of the guard, just an occasional trumpet call and voice commands. Once the new guard has been briefed by the old guard, they move to their posts, the old guard, with police escort, ride out, down the Mall, past Buckingham Palace on their way to their barracks across from Hyde Park and Knightsbridge, about three quarters of a mile from the palace. Their departure is timed to coincide with the changing of the guard at Buckingham Palace, which adds an additional element of pomp and pageantry to this already spectacular event. The changing of the horse guards is open to the public and there is no charge. 